Um, do you got any final thoughts? I mean, we could talk about this stuff for hours, but do you have any final thoughts in terms of just there's there's Christian rappers watching this, there's kids that aren't Christians that, that are watching this. Um, they're trying to get things off the ground. Um, and 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 they follow, watch some of your videos. There, and they're just trying to figure it out. Like, what advice do you have for those dudes that are they're starting to get the ball rolling? They're making some cool music, but now they're looking at marketing and they're intimidated. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what, outside of like, go join the Brandman Network? You know what I'm saying? Which I think would be very helpful to them. But what advice do you have for them? Just one last kind of big idea. Read 22 immutable laws of marketing. Read. 22 immutable laws of branding okay and then also understand the concept of product entry to market so what that is is most people struggle with trying to differentiate themselves most people are trying to differentiate themselves actually mm -hmm. even though they're more alike okay. this is why when you're you're seeing not only pizza hut then you're seeing Domino's, and we mm. focus on this and we have the only chicago style pizza in town we got the same new york style pizza in town mm -hmm. but it's all pizza right mm -hmm. everybody everybody's trying to differentiate and talk about how different they are mm -hmm. a lot of artists this is specifically for you guys who actually have something that's pretty daggone different yeah. or you have a vision that's pretty different yep. right yep most times when people actually have that they're using the behavior of someone trying to differentiate themselves because that's how most people struggle mm -hmm. the reality is when you do that mm -hmm. you're probably a huge leap a quantum leap for those people behaviorally mm -hmm. to actually accept you mm -hmm. right it's, it's just hard it's not familiar enough so what that looks like is finding things that are more familiar go meet people where they are mm -hmm. and then you can take people to where you want to take them so <sighs> Goodness gracious. All right, man. Hey, uh, anything else? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Because that uh, was, go, hold on, hold on. Go meet people where they are and then, is that what you said? Go, and then try to take them. And then you can take them where you want to, right? Okay. Right. You have to build their trust. You have to meet them. We're, this is a Christian um, podcast. Jesus met people in the streets. Jesus wasn't in the church. Yeah. Jesus was on the streets yeah. because the people who need to be saved weren't at church, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Or that oh, in those institutions. Yeah. So to, let's use a visual example of somebody that everybody knows, and he's Christian too. Um, maybe a different version of Christian to, 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 to some people, but Kanye, right? Mm -hmm. Kanye he's done this multiple times in multiple ways and this is why he does pop and product so well mm -hmm. he started as a backpacker mm -hmm. back, backpack rapper mm -hmm. samples he loves samples right mm -hmm. what do we know samples do it makes something more familiar yeah more nostalgic right yeah. so you're meeting people where they are sonically where they're already used to mm -hmm. right and we see a lot of artists that are able to at least get one hit off of that mm -hmm. like off of um, samples so he was able He we all know how much he understands samples mm -hmm. but then through projects now you've got he got you in the door he changes he evolves mm -hmm. and he'll present new things but then you look at Jesus right which a lot of people don't like mm -hmm. that was his biggest leap Sonically, because mm -hmm. you can you can try to say 808s and heartbreaks it uh, was, but it was already some elements at play sure. that was making people like that, like T pains and things like that, right? That was the one. That's why you see people have the most negative feedback too, mm -hmm. right? That's a jump from what right. people were, were used to. Right. So he's like a perfect use case for that, where he met people like if if, if Jesus came out before. Like that was his first project or something similar to that. Yeah, yeah. we're talking about a whole different story. Right, but right. he met people right there, right, and yeah, now yeah. all the weird quote unquote stuff that people think or the cool stuff, whatever, is is cool because you believe in him, you trust him that it is cool. Yeah. But that was because he associated with you close enough first where he had that trust in you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bradman Sean. Um, Man, I'm very grateful for you coming on here, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna link, obviously, all your stuff in the network. Um, yeah, that was dope, man. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys are sure. following Brand Man on uh, YouTube, on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram's actually pretty dope. I've been enjoying your your bubble up there as well. <laughs> and, and check out his Brand Man Network. It's, I mean, 20 bucks a month. A lot of you guys that are wrestling with this, like get in, get a little bit of that customizable, um, mentoring that you probably need for where you're at so thank you again brother appreciate you because we in the mix isn't it isn't it wait uh.
can't keep you in check So tell your mama about the tattoos up to your neck Go wear a collar if it goes with the burgundy kids And tell your father that your night out wasn't the best From what I see via tech I can't keep you in check So tell your mama about the tattoos up to your neck Go wear a collar if it goes with the burgundy kids And tell your father that your night out wasn't the best from what I see via text. Hey, from what I see via text.